Welcome back to Cloudpunk. We're meeting Rubric at the Roadhouse Club. Is he inside? Apparently not, but I can talk to Sam and Yasuhiro here, so I suppose I should do that. Let me past. No, I ain't going nowhere. Your boss wants to talk to me. I'm not supposed to be late. You're making me late. If you're late, you should have got here earlier. If I'm late, I'm telling him why. I'm just japping with your lady. Japping? Fooling with you. Rubric don't want to see you. Just wants you to have this. He left his package for you. Where is it supposed to go? Huh? You don't know? No. Well, I guess he's gonna tell you. Better hurry, Rabbit. Gonna be late. I do sometimes find the voices in this game a little bit questionable. Good, Rabbit. Follow the nav point, please. I didn't say I wanted to accept a call, Camus. I couldn't stop him. He's taken over the comm. You want to know what it is, don't you? You've been turning it over in your mind. What did Lomo have me deliver down there in the hollows? You can't stop thinking about it. To be honest, I've had bigger things to worry about. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, don't let me deflate your ego, though. You were saying? You've got a lot to learn about living in Navalis. It takes a lifetime to understand this city. A lifetime? Well, then the earlier I start, the longer it will take. You know what Pallet 3.0 does to people? What it could do to you? It's a virus, right? I heard there was an outbreak. It's much more than a virus. Pallet 1.0 affected computers, but Pallet 2.0 affects neural augments. It makes autonomic bodily functions become conscious choices. It does not stop the individual's heart beating, their lungs breathing, but it stops that from happening without command. When an individual is afflicted with Pallet 2.0, they must make their heart beat. They must be of every breath. That sounds pretty nightmarish. They cannot sleep, cannot lose focus for a second, or they will die. You made this virus? No, it is an ugly thing, an ugly way to die. Slow and cruel, but I created the economy around it. The subscription plans, the digital inoculation, the cure. Insurance policies to protect the families of those it afflicts. Sounds like a protection racket. Which economies are any different? You're full of shit. What is this package? Pallid 2.0, the last pure source code, stored on Quanta Drive. It can't be decrypted by anything in Navalis below the spires. And you want me to do what? Spread it? Quarantine it. There's a simple, unmarked delivery chute in the stacks. It will take the sample to a secure bunker where rare and unique viruses are stored in case they are needed again. Needed for what? To make new viruses? To fight them, but also to manage the economy. If my associates were to infect a few thousand people with a low-level neural affliction, every individual would pay for a security upgrade. That upgrade would become a panacea. Everyone would install it, and the next far more dangerous virus would hit them as a harmless ripple instead of a devastating tidal wave, leaving them untouched. Their lives would be saved. You know, this city has its share of monsters, but I think you're the worst. And don't forget it. I've given you the final nav point. Do your job, little rabbit. He is gone. We are alone again. Camus, is there a waste disposal near? One that leads all the way to the sea? Yes, I have a nav point. Can we really do that? I don't believe this is a cure at all. This is Rubric's retirement plan, and he'll use it again. What if sending it to disposal means someone else gets it? Or maybe it will spread? The package says it is dangerous. It's worth it. Ooh. Uh. Hmm. 
Besides, I don't think Rubric wants anyone else to know he gave us this. If he goes after us, we can rat him out to Lomo. I don't believe for one second that Lomo would be forgiving. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to throw it away. I'm going to be bold. I don't like Rubric. I don't... Let's... Uh... In fact, um... Okay, it looks like the place for throwing it away is actually in the same area, so I need to park again. Okay, proceed on foot. Okay, this is um, a complex little multi-level area. Going to be pretty difficult to figure this out. Looks like there might be some stuff on this level. Let's take this at a level at a time. Oh. There's another building falling down. Yowza. Is it still going? I think it stopped falling down. Okay, right. Hmm, okay. I need to make my way around here, get all the items. down here is this one of our destinations Kempton bridge stacks okay it looks like there's some things here but they're maybe a bit below me yeah I think we need to go down a level here I'm a shop owner here's what I can offer you today I address for one four that's that's on the cheap side I think actually yeah, so this person is... Yeah, I definitely don't want to sell stuff to them. But if I buy a dress, then again, I'll be able to sell that for a couple of thousand at some point. Let's do it. In fact, I can keep doing that. I can buy... Yeah, let's, let's buy a few dresses. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. And yeah, the, the merchant for selling those for profit... I remember where that was. They were quite close to my apartment. Now, it looks like there's an item to... There it is. Item to pick up here. And here's the trash chute, so let's throw Rubric's package away. That's it. Off to the oceans. Swallowed by the seas as they complain across a thousand shores. Where did that come from, Camus? It is just an expression. I can stop if it is annoying. No, I like it. Expressions, quotes, poetry. Go nuts. We are become death. Destroyer of worlds. <laughs> let's hope not. Okay, I was hoping I'd be able to use... Uh, is that elevator coming down to me? No, it's going to stop just up there, isn't it? Oh, hello, Huxley. The dame answered the call. I knew she wouldn't let me down. Huxley, you can't keep asking for help. I have to do my job. You're on your own. I hope the dame knew I wouldn't be calling if I had any other choice. Damn it, Camus, what should I do? I should leave him, right? I am not so sure. But you hate him. He is one of us now. A friend. Really? All right. Huxley, where are you? I sent the dame a nav point. I'm on my way. Okay, this is an upwards going escalator, which I don't want right now. I want to keep going down if I can. How do we find our way down? Ah, this one here. Here we go. This will be our way down to the lowest level. Allow us to find all the thingies down there. That's a nice little bit of graffiti. Funny, derpy little cat. Is it supposed to be a cat? It looks a bit feline. It may not be supposed to be a cat. Oh, I hear another building falling. Now that's quite close. The car's parked just over there. And the thing's disappeared. Yeah, that's, that's getting a bit uncomfortable. Okay, what we've got here? Some kind of... Access restricted. I have a corpse sec flyer that gets me through, which allows me to pick up that one single item. And some other kind of delivery chute. Fine. And there's a person to talk to above me up there. I must have walked by them at some point. Uh, let's talk to Comrade Bop. Whole systems of powers must justify themselves. Store the establishment back on the shelves. Excuse me? 
You hustle past like you don't hear me. Step over the homeless like you can't even see me. Are you talking, singing at me? Another cog in the machine. Say you're a worker, but your hands are clean. Hey, I need to work for a living. They exploit you every day and you're thinking for it. One hand pats you on the back, the other is in your pocket. Maybe people would take your social protest more seriously if you weren't singing all the time. And they reprogram me, mess with my head. Now if I don't sing what I think, I end up dead. Seriously? They make you sing? Go up second, handle the truth so they make me rhyme. Handle kism in the prose has had its time. That kind of impacts on your credibility. Huh, and that's the plan. But even if I had to sing every word, I keep fighting the man. Huh. Maybe if you didn't insult me, I'd try to help you. Don't want your help, just want you to look around and see the people lying on the ground. I see them, I know it's tough here. Maybe you ain't so bad. Maybe Conrad Bop is still just mad. For real. Now you can help if you want to. There's a guy who needs your guidance up on 3rd Avenue. Guidance? He knew. He don't know the streets. Tell him come see me in an hour and I'll get him something to eat. Why do you need me to talk to him? He don't like me. Don't like my singing. He said my flow. Has his ears ring. I see his point. I know I can't sing, can't make good music. But we can all make a better world if we make the choice to choose it. And I'm being told to go and find Raguan up on the bridge. That's a name that rings a bell, isn't it? Okay, I've managed to find quite a lot of the pickups around here. But yeah, we do need to head into this southern area where Raguan is. And it looks like it's upwards a bit. So this lift here, I think that's our ticket. There's some things that are still even higher above me. I'm trying to find out. That's that's another one even... Hang on, were we here before? This feels familiar. I think we're going around in circles. Okay, what have we got in terms of lift options? There's one over here. Does that go up even higher? Let's try it out. Now that one just goes right on by. So that's not going to help us to get up to the next level. Let's investigate the one. Oh, this one looks good. That looks like that's going up from our level to the one above. And that's then taking us back towards the hover. Okay, well, give it a try. Hmm, there's a little guy stood down there. wonder what his story is. Okay, so where are we now? Yeah, maybe... Yeah, I feel like this is the right kind of height, but maybe I just need to run all the way around the walkways. I can't remember whether I did a thorough job of exploring this level before. Well, let's let's head this way and see what we get. Well, this is promising. There's someone to talk to just ahead of me. This is Rotriv. Hey, you deliver stuff, right? Sure, when I'm paid to. I pay you. That's not how it works. You have to contact my employer. Seems complicated. How about I just pay you? Look, I can't just... How about I pay you up front? Listening. But I won't take anything illegal or dangerous. What's the package? My durable, my vestments, my tights, my rosaries. And my Aparcrafa Sanguine, first edition. I have no idea what any of those are. Are they something to do with your religion? You mean my cult? <laughs> you can tell by my robes. Yeah. I mean, no. Well? Just take them. Deliver them to the compound. You know the place. Everyone knows the place. Here's the fee. If you make the delivery without incident, come back and I'll double it. On my way. Okay. Is that local? Doesn't look like it is. It's down there. Okay. All right, well, that's... Okay, it's a thing. It's on our quest log. We'll do that at some point when we're in the area. Let's keep exploring around here. So it looks like Ragwan is even higher still. But that's fine. 
I feel like we're going in the right direction. Now, there's someone to talk to here. Who are you? Cardinal. You child! You have seen in your eyes, in your thoughts, under your nails. Excoriate yourself before my mother. Your mother. The old mother! Me. Me? Stop pointing at me. You feel the spotlight of guilt. It strips away your facade. Bow down to Cora and ask her to free us and birth anew. We are all doomed! Don't you have anything better to do than shout at people in the street? Not at the moment. I'm waiting for my robes to be dry cleaned. Repent! Repent and suffer before the gaze of the All Mother! Camus, do you hear this guy? This is exactly what Mom warned me about in Navalis. Crazy people shouting on the streets. I hear him. What is he talking about now? I saw the fourth face as I stripped away the mask. The eyes of Korra looked down, and a mouth made of garbage spat upon my soul. He's an intense fellow, Gross. isn't he? He shouted at you. He shouts at a lot of people. Not Corpsec, I noticed. Or the gangers over there, or guys in general. My knowledge base says many religious factions do not respect minorities or women. Your knowledge base is not wrong, Camus. Hmm. Too true. Right, let's make our way up one more level and hopefully then we'll be in a position to meet Ragwan and pick up the items that are outstanding in this district. Yes, yes, here it is, my pretty. Come to me. We've discovered Third Avenue. Where's the, where's the... There it is. Another punch card for Evelyn. We're now up to 8 out of 20. Very happy with progress there. And before we talk to Ragwan, let's pick up the item that's here. Memory chip. Hi, Ragwan. I recognize you. You got in trouble for fraud. You saw me on the Holovids? Something like that. I was sent to help you. Ha! By that singing socialist toaster? No thanks. I think he's an anarchist. He's scum. They all are here. I can't wait to get home. Home? To your apartment? Did you get another job? People like me don't get fired. I go back Monday. This is my punishment. For grand scale fraud? A weekend on the street? It might be easy for someone like you to endure this place, but I have family in the spire. I'm not like these people. This is hell. I can't believe Bop was going to help you. He knows I get home soon. I told him I don't care about his cause. Even after you've seen what they go through here? Leave me alone. Well, he says you can get food if you go and see him in an hour. Fine. Message received. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's head on back down. We're, we're done in this area, I think. Now we just need to try and get all the way over there to our hover. And... Yeah, it's, it's a maze, isn't it? Is this the right level? This feels like the right level. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I really do like this level here. It's, um, this level, sorry, this, this little district of the city with uh, all the, the vertical design. It's, it's challenging to navigate, but it's, it's got a, a nice distinct feel to it, hasn't it? It doesn't feel like any of the other areas. In this view especially. That's... That's where it's at, isn't it? There's everything laid out in front of you. Right, we need to go back to the hover. We need to be on our way. Somewhere over here, and hopefully there will be a highway we can get on. Indeed there is. Can I ask a question? Of course. Do you think if I am a car for long enough, I will stop being a dog? Well, I guess that depends. Do you feel like a car now? No. I am a dog. Well, whatever you feel like, that's what you are. But other people don't look at me and think, that is a cute dog. 
Well, let's be honest, you were never a cute dog. Huh. But now I'm not any kind of dog. Not to other people. They just see me as a hova. Who cares what other people think? Look what happens when I try to bark. That's strange. I guess there's going to be some weirdness when we put a dog automata in a hava automata slot. Am I still a dog if I don't bark? Well, I'm your best friend, and I think of you as a dog. Friend? If I'm a dog, am I not a pet? Look, Camus, what do you want to be? I feel like a dog. I was happier when I had the old body. What's a dog with no bark? Stop second-guessing yourself. You're being maudlin. Are you still a musician if you don't play music? Hey, now you're being mean. Oh, I didn't mean to. What's really bothering you? You didn't ask me if I wanted to be a dog or a hova. Well, actually, you're right, Camus. Do you want to be either? Hmm. You don't even need to be my friend if you don't want to be. I feel sad. Look, a lot of stuff is fucked up in this world, Camus. I won't make you be my friend or force you to stay with me. You can go free. I just want to let you know something first. I am listening. I like you. You're a good friend. As a dog, car, fire hydrant, vacuum cleaner, whatever. I like you too. I want to be a dog and your friend. All right then, let's get back to work. The sooner we make some more deliveries, the sooner I can save money to get you a proper frame. Was the last job good? The Andersons? I don't know, Camus. I've been thinking about automata and androids a lot. Sometimes it doesn't seem fair. Do you think it's fair? I am not really programmed to think about fairness. I can see why they would make you that way. People are programmed too, but not by programmers. By the world around them. That's very wise, Camus. I am not programmed to be wise. Well, you've gone beyond your programming then. Is that a compliment? Maybe the highest compliment. Then I think you have gone beyond your programming too. So I was heading towards the green marker and then kind of changed my mind and decided I wanted to head towards the pink one instead. So that's, that's the explanation for the sudden change of direction. Are we supposed to take things from people on the street? You know we're not, so why do you ask? I was confused. No, you were being my conscience and annoying. Mm. Sorry, it's just a lot of money. We have to take some risks. Tell me about these Sons of Sanguine. I can search the undernet. Too risky, just the regular nets, news articles and holovids. Cult stole my baby. Sons of Sanguine recruiting pop stars by blackmail. Sons of Sanguine High Priest disowns rebellious daughter. A Sanguine monk who claimed to survive without food or drink was revealed to be a fraud, caught eating a 40-inch pizza. You see why I avoid the news? So they're your basic loony cult. They say they are a legitimate religion. Of course they do. What is the difference between a cult and a religion? The entrance fee. Let's just drop the package and get out of there fast. It looks like this area is actually, is actually divided into two, so I think I'm going to need to move the hover to pick up the other items that are near here. Security terminal, this is where we're delivering Rotriv's package. Greetings from the mother. Please put your finger on the scanning plate. I just need to drop off a package. I don't have a security pass or anything. The scanning plate, pilgrim. I'm not a pilgrim. Look, I don't want to come in or anything. Can you just take this package, please? Or do you have a mail slot? The scanning plate, please. Fine. Just here? Ouch. Something jabbed me. I'm bleeding. We just need to check your type. We are confident you are not one of the forbidden. You are? I'm not. Alert. Alert. Forbidden type detected. Please leave immediately. But I just need to... Alert. Alert. Forbidden type detected. Please leave immediately. Fine, I'll take it back. Talk about a cult. Hmm, okay. I'm leaving. That's fine. Be like that. God, came all the way over here. Couldn't even deliver the package. Was it a bad idea to take the package? Yes. You get to say the four sweetest words in the world. Let's go to the park? <laughs> That's five. Go to the park? No, I told you so. Ah, uh, yes. Those are good, too. Let's just take this package back to Rotriv. 
Well, I don't want to go back to Road Trip right away, because uh, it's quite a long way. Um, what can I get through here? Well, that looks difficult to access. I do want to finish exploring this little area if I can. But yeah, we are approaching, approaching the end of the episode, I feel. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you'll join me next time for more Cloudpunk. Bye-bye.